Hey there ladies and gents, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. Previously we explored much of the Dark Chapel which leads us down to this ghoul filled corridor of the catacombs. And let's continue on. And here's our first new enemy of this episode, uh, Barbariccia the Demon. And it's got an item drop and a very rare soul, so I'll get those off screen and be right back. Okay, so far I have Barbariccia's soul. This allows me to transform into the demon Barbariccia. So we'll test that little soul out. This is kind of like the uh, Manticore and Devil souls of Aria of Sorrow. They're transformation souls. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Yeah! <laughs> and I got a $2,000 bag of gold. Not bad. Anyway, that's basically what it does. It goes across the screen and basically almost kills anything you run into because it does major damage. But it's a big MP uh, killer too, so you got to be very careful in its use. Anyway, uh, it's got an item drop that I need now, so I'll be back. Alright, I've got the item drop from Barbariccia now, which is the Blunt Sword. Uh, we've actually got this in a much earlier episode back in the wizardry lab, but I'll show it off just to show it off, I guess. It does boost my attack, so I suppose that's not too bad. It's kind of like a samurai's katana. And here's our next new enemy. Um, I recommend using the Mandragorasol. And it's just got a rare soul, so I'll get that off screen and be back in just a moment with that. Okay, we've got the Bone Pillar soul now. This increases constitution, and this is kind of like the Ghost Dancer soul in that it boosts by two points for each soul that you collect of that type. As you can see there, it's a level 9 soul. So we'll want to farm that if you want a high constitution, but I think I'm okay for now. And here's our next new enemy, another bone creature of the night. <laughs> the white dragon. No drops, just a semi-rare soul. But we got a traveler cape for our little trial there. Uh, if we check that out, as you can see it... Oops. Try again. It boosts defense by three points, doesn't change anything else. Whereas the pennant boosts luck by one. So I'm going to go with the traveler cape for now, I guess. And I'll be back once I get the White Dragon Soul. Okay, I've got the White Dragon Soul now, which allows me to breathe fire. Uh, there it is, level 3 Soul. Basically, this is kind of like the Bone Pillar Soul from Aria of Sorrow. They kind of switched it up a little bit. Notice you can't do it while I'm jumping in the air, so you can only do it when you're grounded. And that's the best way to farm it right there, is just to go back and forth between this room and the other one. Just thought I'd show that to you. And here's our next new enemy. This is one of my favorite souls so far, the Guillotiner. Uh, no drops, just a uh, easy to get soul. I'll be back with that in uh, just a moment. Okay, I've got the Guillotiner soul, or Guillotiner, or Guillotiner. <laughs> it summons a guillotine from beyond the grave. <laughs> it's a level three soul, and as you can see, it's a vertical attack, but it does major damage. It can kill a lot of stuff in one hit if you're appropriately leveled up like I am. So I use it a lot at this point. Make good use of it if you happen to be strong enough that it does the same damage that it's doing for me. Now notice over here there's this little weird like child doll thing in the wall, against the wall rather, and a hole that I can't quite fit through. I imagine I'm gonna have to come back for that. In fact, I'm sure that I'll eventually get something that will allow me to get through there. But we'll find that out later. Uh, let's see. No, I want to go left first. Okay. 
guillotine these guys. Woohoo! Guillotine! And notice the wall over there, the pink one, has a skeleton in it. Well, if we switch over to our skeleton soul and toss a bone at it, it breaks the wall. So they, those are soul-sensitive walls, and I'm sure we'll see more of those to come to. Took me a while to figure that one out, though. Well, not too long, I guess. Just a minute or two, but... Anyway. And over here we get the halberd. If I can get out of there. There we go. Uh, equip that and see how it looks. Ooh, nice. A big boost in attack up to 40 points. So I'm going to use that for a while until the novelty wears off, I guess. <laughs> Make sure to switch... Oops. I should put it on my main set of equipment, too. I want to make sure I keep my peeping eye soul active so I don't miss anything. Watch out for those traps, obviously. They're pretty easy to spot as long as you're being somewhat careful. Oh, and another mirror over here. I'm sure we'll use that later. And there's a red scarf take a look at that. Ooh, nice. A boost to defense and constitution. Uh, a red scarf that has an air of melancholy. We'll equip that. And there's nothing else over here, so I think I'm going to meet you back at the split in the chapel. Here we go. We're back at the split where the uh, paths went up and down. I'm going to now head to the top of the chapel. Ha! Sliced up that guy. And using flying armor, we get a potion. Oh, didn't quite make it. There we go. And over here, we have another new enemy, which is... What is it? The Great Armor. But some for some reason, it didn't fill in the information on it. That's really weird. I guess we'll try another one. There we go. Alright, it's got an item drop and a somewhat rare soul, so I'll get those off screen and be right back. Okay, I've got the Great Armor Soul so far. This allows me to summon Great Armor as a familiar. So it's kind of like the Bat and the Midi Demon. Midi Devil. Yeah, Midi Devil. I just did that episode, I can't even remember what it's called. <laughs> anyway, this is kind of like, uh, I think, what was it, the Hell Knight or... Dark Knight or something from Ari of Sorrow, the, the very last soul you could get in the game. Anyway, he's got an item drop that I need to get still, so I'll be back with that. Alright, I've got the Ring Mail, which is the regular drop from Great Armor now. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Switch over to my main set. Ooh, nice boost to defense, up 13 points. A suit of a mail suit with metal rings. So I'm going to use that for now. At least for my traveling armor. I'll keep my 3 sevens armor for my farming set. And here's another enemy. The Valkyrie. Uh, ooh, nice. We got a breastplate from her right away. We'll take a look at that here. Of course, this is much earlier we got that. Uh, so I'm going to stick with my ring mail. Uh, she's got a rare drop and a very rare soul. So I guess I'll beat you back here once I get those. <laughs> Finally. Now if you look at my level up there, I was level 39 before and level 42 now. So the disparity in level shows how long this took. I actually watched two episodes of Dexter while this was taking place, which is about two hours. Insane. Anyway, I finally got its rare drop, which is the pancake, and its very, very rare soul, which is what took so long. And that allows me to transform into a Valkyrie and charge at foes. Sounds like fun. Let's try it out. Uh, level 1 soul, there we go. And suddenly you're an almost nude woman. <laughs> Sex change! Anyway, uh, let's see, there's the pancake. It's nothing without maple syrup. Ain't that the truth? 
Oh, I don't want to farm that soul ever again. That took so long. That was longer than the Frankenstein soul, and that the creature rather, and that thing took forever too. Uh, nothing over there that I see. Let's see. We'll just head up this elevator here. We're running short on time. I'm trying to get some to somewhere that's a good stopping point. I think there's a save point coming up, if I remember correctly. I can't get that item back there yet. We'll get that in a future episode, don't worry. Here we go. We'll head over to the left here, save point. And I'll save my game and we'll call it a video here. Uh, in the next video, we'll see what's coming up ahead. Anyway, thanks for sticking around, and see you soon. Bye-bye.